Graham Ross. We're at a property called Willow Glen um, near Bathurst, 10 k's out of town. We're a merino enterprise. We run basically 2,000 uh, merino breeding ewes. We, we believe in having 100% ground cover. If um, when we're heading with the direction of predicting that we might get below that, we're going to aim to lot feed our breeding ewes um, and give the country uh, hopefully a rest. In the, in the past, we managed the uh, droughts by um, using our grazing budgets to, to predict that we would be running out of feed. And, and then when we'd reduce stock, we'd then pick paddocks and gra uh, trail feed in, in paddocks as sacrifice paddocks. Well, I see the benefits of confined speed feeding um, is improving our, our retention of, of pastures. Uh, that would be one of our biggest costs, um, the loss of pastures in dry times and also keeping ground cover so it helps us keep our, um, our soils healthy. Uh, if, uh, if we keep a, a ground cover above 90%, the soils are always going to be healthy and can respond quicker after the drought. Um, it makes us easier to assess the condition of livestock. You don't have to be guessing what they're like in a paddock with the amount you're feeding. You can increase the amount, decrease the amount um, very quickly if you can see them every day. Our first thing was is, um, the site. We had to decide where we could get water was the main thing and good water. And also we wanted a site that would, would face and drain uh, well so you didn't have a boggy wet uh, patch. Um, so we also picked a site that we call in our place the Hidden Valley. So you really don't see see the site unless you drive into the into that valley. It's also got some tree lots and on one one side, and we plan to put more tree lots around it as as uh, time progresses. And it faces north, um, so it, it doesn't get as many cold winds, and that's pretty important. It gives you a little bit of um, leeway and, and satisfaction that you're not going to get rid of your poor breeding stock. The main thing is not destroying the pastures because they're the most expensive thing um, on, on the farm. Confined feeding is, is, a, is a tool that you can use to keep your ground cover on, on your farm um, and not have the soils degrade. And if you keep the soil in a good, healthy condition, um, when it does rain, it'll respond. So it's important to pass that message on that the use of of all the tools that you can find, you'll, you'll, you'll build a better um, farm and resilience to, to uh, the environment and, and droughts.